All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to the legendary class of 2020. This is Principal Reed, and I am so happy to be with all of you this afternoon. Before we get into the program, allow me to share that you all have been on my heart, my mind, and in my thoughts and prayers on a daily basis. I know that remote learning has presented its own set of challenges, but it has also presented some opportunities. So please know that your Chelsea CTE family misses each and every one of you, and we will be here to support you throughout this process. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today. So let's jump right in. This session is being recorded to allow those who are unable to attend to have access to all information shared. Just to go over a little bit of our etiquette routine today, again, the session is being recorded and will be made public thereafter. If you have not already done so, please mute your mics and turn off your cameras. If you have dialed in, in order to mute your mic, you press star six. If you have questions or comments throughout the presentation, please type them in the chat and they will be answered by myself or any of the other members of our faculty and staff who are on this meet. So the faculty and staff who we have with us, we have our assistant principals, Ms. Perez and Ms. Dixon. We have our 12th grade counselor, Mr. Siegel. We have Ms. Renner, our student of, our coordinator of student activities, rather. And we do have our college and career team here with us, Ms. Thomas, Ms. DeMar, Ms. Moreno, and Mr. Acosta. Today's agenda, we will open up with a address by former President Barack Obama that celebrates the class of 2020. We'll discuss the remote grading policy. We'll review the graduation requirements. We will have two Q&A sessions. The first one ends immediately after the graduation requirements slides. So you type your questions in the chat box. We will continue with post-secondary planning and your commitments, transcripts and diplomas, our virtual graduation ceremonies, a fall 2020 distribution of materials, senior dues, and our reunite event. And we'll end with a message around finishing strong. We will have our second Q&A just before the end. So you'll type your questions in the chat box. And then at the very end, we will have an open mic town hall session with me and just students only. That portion will not be recorded. So we will speak openly and freely at that time. Any questions or concerns you have around your senior year, your experience, or what have you. So now give me a moment. Let's hear from our former president, Barack Obama. Let me mute their mic. Hi, everybody. Anaya, thank you for that beautiful introduction. I could not be prouder of everything you've done in your time with the Obama Foundation. And of course, I couldn't be prouder of all of you in the graduating class of 2020, as well as the teachers and the coaches, and most of all, parents and family who guided you along the way. Now, graduating is a big achievement under any circumstances. Some of you have had to overcome serious obstacles along the way, whether it was an illness or a parent losing a job or living in a neighborhood where people too often count you out. Along with the usual challenges of growing up, 
All of you have had to deal with the added pressures of social media, reports of school shootings, and the specter of climate change. And then, just as you're about to celebrate having made it through, just as you've been looking forward to proms and senior nights, graduation ceremonies, and let's face it, a whole bunch of parties, the world is turned upside down by a global pandemic. And as much as I'm sure you love your parents, I'll bet that being stuck at home with them and playing board games or watching Tiger King on TV is not exactly how you envisioned the last few months of your senior year. Now, I'll be honest with you. The disappointments of missing a live graduation, those will pass pretty quick. I don't remember much of my own high school graduation. I know that not having to sit there and listen to a commencement speaker isn't all that bad. Mine usually go on way too long. Also, not that many people look great in those caps, especially if you have big ears like me. And you'll have plenty of time to catch up with your friends once the immediate public health crisis is over. But what remains true is that your graduation marks your passage into adulthood, the time when you begin to take charge of your own life. It's when you get to decide what's important to you, the kind of career you want to pursue, who you want to build a family with, the values you want to live by. And given the current state of the world, that may be kind of scary. If you'd planned on going away for college, getting dropped off at campus in the fall, that's no longer a given. If you are planning to work while going to school, finding that first job is going to be tougher. Even families that are relatively well off are dealing with massive uncertainty. Those who were struggling before, they're hanging on by a thread. All of which means that you're going to have to grow up faster than some generations. This pandemic has shaken up the status quo and laid bare a lot of our country's deep seated problems from massive economic inequality to ongoing racial disparities to a lack of basic health care for people who need it. It's woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. That it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick. And that our society and our democracy only work when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other. It's also pulled the curtain back on another hard truth something that we all have to eventually accept once our childhood comes to an end. And all those adults that you used to think were in charge and knew what they were doing, turns out they don't have all the answers. A lot of them aren't even asking the right questions. So if the world's gonna get better, it's gonna be up to you. That realization may be kind of intimidating, but I hope it's also inspiring. With all the challenges this country faces right now, nobody can tell you, no, you're too young to understand, or this is how it's always been done. Because with so much uncertainty, with everything suddenly up for grabs, this is your generation's world to shape. Since I'm one of the old guys, I won't tell you what to do with this power that rests in your hands, but I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. America's gone through tough times before. Slavery, civil war, famine, disease, the Great Depression, and 9-11. And each time, we came out stronger. Usually because a new generation, young people like you, learned from past mistakes and figured out how to make things better. Second, do what you think is right. Doing what feels good, what's convenient, what's easy, that's how little kids think. Unfortunately, a lot of so-called grown-ups, including some with fancy titles and important jobs, still think that way, which is why things are so screwed up. I hope that instead you decide to ground yourself in values that last, like honesty, hard work, responsibility, fairness, generosity, respect for others. You won't get it right every time. You'll make mistakes like we all do. 
But if you listen to the truth that's inside yourself, even when it's hard, even when it's inconvenient, people will notice, they'll gravitate towards you, and you'll be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And finally, build a community. No one does big things by themselves. Right now, when people are scared, it's easy to be cynical and say, let me just look out for myself or my family or people who look or think or pray like me. But if we're going to get through these difficult times, if we're going to create a world where everybody has opportunity to find a job and afford college, if we're going to save the environment and defeat future pandemics, then we're going to have to do it together. So be alive to one another's struggles. Stand up for one another's rights. Leave behind all the old ways of thinking that divide us. Sexism, racial prejudice, status, greed. Set the world on a different path. When you need help, Michelle and I have made it the mission of our foundation to give young people like you the skills and support to lead in your own communities and to connect you with other young leaders around the country and around the globe. But the truth is, you don't need us to tell you what to do, because in so many ways, you've already started to lead. Congratulations, class of 2020. Keep making us proud. All right. Thank you, President Obama. Now we'll turn to our remote grading policy. Our third and final marking period ends on Friday, June 19th. That is subject to change because Central DOE is still finalizing the dates, but that's what it is for now as of today. This totality of the, totality of the marking period reflects course mastery aligned to state standards throughout this spring semester of 2020. So when you receive a 65 or better on your report cards and transcripts, what does that mean? That means that you've passed the class and you've earned the course credit. Once the report cards and transcripts are finalized, your families can decide to keep the numeric grade or change that grade to a CR. A CR means that you've passed the class, you've earned the course credit, but a CR does not affect your overall GPA, so it is not averaged in. If your family, uh, if your family wishes to request that change, you can send it to Ms. Perez at sperez6 at chelseahs.org. This change will be reflected on your transcripts no later than November 30th, we're not in the physical building with all of our capabilities, but we will make that happen as soon as we possibly can if your family wants to do that. If you receive an NX on your report card or transcript, that means that the course requirements are not met yet. So you have not earned enough scores or mastery to get the 65 or better, so you may need additional time. That time is granted to you through January of 2021. Whomever the teacher of record was who had given you the NX, that support continues with said teacher through January of 2021. If this is a course required for graduation, your diploma will not be issued this June, but will be issued after the course is completed. Our full academic school year ends totally on June 26, 2020. That's also a Friday. So if the marking period ends on the 19th, what do you do for that additional five days? It is certainly your responsibility to continue daily attendance check-ins within that classroom and engage in online student activities, self-care, or wellness, and start to wrap up whatever your final plans are or start to plan for the alternatives that you may be seeking as well. 
In terms of our graduation requirements, of course, everyone knows this is just a review, but you have to pass all of your classes in order to meet the 44 plus credit requirement. You need to earn your credits, of course, and you need to pass at least the five required regents for graduation. If you are currently enrolled in a course that terminates in a regents exam, when you pass both the fall semester and this current semester of that course, you will be exempted from taking that regents exam and you will still get the regents credit required for graduation. This is as per the New York State Education Department. So again, if you are enrolled in a course that terminates in a regents or a course that you failed previously or were unsuccessful in and you needed that regents, when you pass that, that course, you do get the regents exemption as well. And if it is required for graduation, it will count. CTE certification, so cert report is available. Many of you have already passed a number of the IC3 or the Adobe certification exams. If you were in line to receive the CTE endorsed diploma, diploma you also have to have the work-based learning requirements and you also have to pass the CTE sequence from freshman through your senior year. The NACD exams are not available remotely. So if you want to pursue those exams, you can come back to school in the fall of 2020, but exemptions are also available for this purpose. So again, if you are on track to earn the CTE endorsed diploma and you cannot engage in your testing because of COVID-19, we will exempt you and you still will be able to get the CTE endorsement. So long as all the other requirements, the work-based learning and the course mastery across freshman through senior year are completed. I'll now turn it over to Mr. Siegel to discuss some of our graduation requirements in detail. Mr. Siegel. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Principal Reed. Earning a New York City diploma. In New York City public schools, students can earn three types of diplomas a local, a regents, or an advanced regents diploma. All diplomas are valid high school diplomas and can be used to demonstrate graduation or enroll in programs after high school, like college and the military. To earn a diploma, students must earn specific course credits and pass specific regents. The credits that you will need to graduate are the following. English Language Arts, ELA, you will need eight credits. Social Studies, in Global History, you will need four. In U.S. History, you will need two. In Participation in Government, you will need one. In Economics, you will need one. In Mathematics, you will need six total, including at least two credits of advanced math, such as Geometry or Algebra two. In Science, you will need six total two credits in the life science, two credits in the physical science, and two additional life or physical science credits. Because we are a CTE school, your language other than English, LOTI, you will have to have two credits. In the visual art, music, dance, or theater under the arts, you will need two credits. In physical education, consistent consistently through high, high school, you will need four credits. And in health, you will need one credit. And for your electives, you will need seven. That will total 44 credits. Now, regarding examinations and alternatives. You will need to have five Regents exams passed or state approved alternatives to Regents exams in order to graduate. There is the local diploma, eligible students. There is the Regents diploma and the advanced Regents diploma. The subject area requirements for exams vary by diploma type and endorsements. All students can earn a Regents or an advanced Regents diploma. For the local diploma, ELA is a 55, 
social studies or higher. Social studies, 55 on one social studies exam or higher. Math, 55 on one math exam or higher. Science, 55 on one science exam or higher. And the plus one option where there are requirements that vary. It can be any additional regents or a state approved plus one option. For a regents diploma, you will need 65s or higher. English language arts, 65 or higher. One social studies, 65 or higher. One mathematics, 65 or higher. A, lit, a science, 65 or higher. And a plus one option where requirements vary. For an advanced regents diploma, you will need a 65 or higher on the ELA, English language arts, a 65 or higher on the social studies, one social studies exam, mathematics, a 65 on three math exams, all three, algebra, ge algebra one, geometry, and algebra two. And in science, you will need a 65 on living environment and one other science exam earth science or chemistry or physics. And plus one option requirements, requirements may vary. And because we are a CTE school, there is uh, the low T exam that uh, students are aware of. Um, but because you are taking a CTE track, uh, we can discuss that. Um, moving forward, the information that you are hearing if you have any questions or concerns about your current regents or local or advanced regents diploma status, anything to do with your diploma status, please email me and I will contact you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Siegel. So we'll look at the Q&A session here. Thank you, Mr. Reed. My pleasure, Mr. Siegel, thank you. Okay, so I'm not sure we have any questions here. So we will continue with the presentation. <clears throat> Okay, we'll now have Ms. Thomas speak about post-secondary planning and information. Ms. Thomas. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everything is well. What's up, class of 2020, my babies, I miss you all. Um, I'm just here to share some information for those of you who have decided maybe you, your plans change, you may not be planning to attend college right away. Uh, as you know, I'm always talking to you guys about various programs. Um, if you're interested in any information, post-secondary training program like Priscolis or Empower, email me and you see the email address, wbl at chelseahs.org. Um, I'm trying to set up a recruitment session with Ms. Marte from Empower. These programs are of no cost to you, but if you have, you know, if you're interested in pursuing a career in the IT field, they have a variety of um, programs available that encompasses you also receiving your certification for those particular um, pathways. So if you have any specific questions or interests, feel free to email me, use the, w, use the work based Learn email, so this way it doesn't get caught up in all of my other emails. That one is specifically about post-secondary and work-based things. So if you have any questions specific to me, um, you know, again, feel free to email me. Um, and I'll be more than willing to help you. All the best to you guys, Class 2020. Stay resilient. Thank you, Ms. Thomas. We'll now be joined by Mr. Moore and Mr. Acosta, who will discuss your post-secondary commitments. Mr. Moore, Mr. Acosta. How you guys doing? Good to um, see y'all. This feels like a real town hall, the fact that y'all are in the chat just talking while <laughs> information is being disseminated. But um, I appreciate seeing y'all happy to see each other. Um, and we're happy to have y'all here. So yeah, as you guys know, like we've been checking in with you guys. Um, 
And you guys have been doing a fairly good job of, you know, relaying information and being good about reaching out whenever you guys need help. As you know, um, we do have college office hours that are available to you guys, and you guys will hear more about that from Ms. Moreno. Um, but, yeah, you know, just be sure you guys are letting us know, first of all, what colleges you guys got accepted into, um, you know, what you guys plan on doing, whether that be going to this, whether that be going away to college, uh, whether that be going into the workforce or the military, whatever the case may be, be sure to let us know um, and share those acceptances. And um, guys, we're trying to, you know, celebrate you and all. So if you guys don't mind, we like to see y'all beautiful faces on those, uh, those pictures on the Instagram promotion that we're doing for you all. Um, you know, obviously we would like to have had a real celebration in person, but you know, the circumstances are such, um, but yeah, like, you know, keep sending in those pictures, keep checking in and, um, you know, proud of you guys, you guys are working hard. You guys, you guys are really doing it. Um, and I'm really excited for you guys and your future prospects, but yeah, please keep reaching out. Thank you, Mr. Acosta. I don't really have very much to add, uh, but what I do have to add is just, please, I just want to reinforce that we need to speak with all of you seniors. If we have not had a conversation with you to make sure that you have made a decision about what you're going to do after you graduate, whether it's college, which is most of you, or some other choice. It's very important that we hear from you. Uh, we would like to just check in with you, make sure that uh, that your decision is in place, that you've done everything in order to make sure that you will be ready for classes in the fall. And we would like to review your financial aid with you because there's a lot of minor details that you may have overlooked and we can help you troubleshoot them and make sure that you've got them taken care of before we get uh, past graduation. And then we're all off in different directions. So be aware that we have college offices on uh, office hours on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You can even check in with us after this. Uh, today, we meet uh, from 4 o'clock to 5.30. And we're also available by appointment. Uh, everybody's got our email addresses. You've got my phone number. Feel free to text or call anytime. Thank you, Mr. Moore and Mr. Acosta. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Reed. Just one more thing. Sure. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know not all of you guys' uh, classmates are here. Um, so I just wanted to just, you know, encourage you guys to, you know, help them out a little bit. Let them know to reach out. You know, let them know that, you know, they're still, they're still, they can still take care of their, their college stuff. Um, you know, like I said, most of you guys have been doing a good job, but some of your classmates have it. Uh, I don't want to call anybody out, but you know, just just nudge your nudge your friends. Let them know, you know, check in with them. Like, you know, have you talked to Mr. Moore, Mr. Acosta, anybody? So, yeah. Sorry, Mr. Reed. No problem. All right, we'll continue the presentation with Ms. Moreno, who will talk about final college checklists. Ms. Moreno. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. I'm really glad to see so many of you here. Um, so I'm just going to run through the final college checklist. And these are sort of action items that we want you to be prioritizing at the current moment if you haven't already completed these things. Um, so the first thing, complete financial aid verification process. If you received an email or a letter notification that you have been selected for financial aid verification process, which means that you have to submit additional um, a sort of copy of your family's tax returns and things like that, uh, we would more than happy to help you input those things into certain portals. Um, we know that for CUNY, you are allowed to take pictures of your family's tax return and submit them through your CUNY first. So if you need any help with that, please come and see us. Accept your admissions offer by June 1st. A lot of you may have already done this by May 1st, but a lot of colleges did extend their deadline to June 1st. So you do have some time to um, accept your admissions offer. Now, if you have a lot of admissions offers and you're sort of uncertain of which one to pick, we can certainly help you here in the college office to come to a decision. We may not make the decision for you, uh, but we can certainly help you get to one. 
Student enrollment and housing deposit, um, along with the admissions offer, you may have to submit an enrollment fee, and that is to sort of secure your spot for that specific college. Um, and housing deposit, for those of you who have decided to go away to school, you need somewhere to sleep in the fall, so make sure that you are submitting these deposits. And if you need any help with submitting these things through any portal or anything like that, please come and see us as well. Complete and submit your tab. Um, this should only happen after you have submitted your FAFSA. So if you re already submitted your FAFSA and you have decided on the one school that you are attending, because TAP only allows you to put down one school, we encourage you to do that as soon as possible. Um, and just as a reminder, you can only add a school that is in New York State. Are you eligible for CUNY ASAP? For those students who have decided to go up to a CUNY, specifically a two-year school, you may be eligible for the ASAP program. The ASAP program is an opportunity program um, that sort of gives you additional academic and financial support. So this is something that you definitely want to look into and take advantage of. Um, and as Mr. Co Mr. Acosta and Mr. Mar said, you know, continue to check in with us, especially the ones that we haven't heard from. Um, you can see right on the slide, these are specific sort of drop-in hours, but you are more than welcome to email us and we can sort of do an appointment on um, more of an individual basis if you would like that. All right, off to our final sort of career checklist. So for those of you who have decided to go into a career path or sort of a training program, these are things that we want you to be focusing on. So study for your CTE certification. Um, if you are eligible for that, if you're unsure, please check in with your CTE teachers. And as Mr. Reed mentioned earlier, you may be able to take this in the fall of 2020. Updating your resume. A lot of you have done a lot, you know, throughout these four years, and we want you to just be um, updating your resume, adding those things onto that. Writing a cover letter um, gives you an opportunity to just sort of speak to yourself more um, and sort of express interest as to why you specifically want to apply to this specific job um, or company. Practice interviewing with a peer or family member. You know, brushing up on your interview skills is very important. Secure three people that can serve as a reference, and this can be a teacher, a staff member, a classmate, someone that can sort of speak to your work ethic and your experience. Um, and check in with your CTE teachers, you know, they are here for you, they're willing to support you. And if you are interested in pursuing a career path or training program, please be sure to reach out to Ms. Thomas, as she's mentioned earlier. She does know some programs that still have openings and I'm more than happy to take you on. So just make sure that you reach out to her. And I am just very proud for the views that have been able to do so much of these things on a checklist. And we just wanna be able to reach out to those that haven't been able to do certain things and just know that we are here to support you. And these are things that you don't have to go through alone. Um, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you, Ms. Moreno. We'll continue on, and now we'll have Ms. Dixon speak about transcripts and diplomas. Ms. Dixon. Good afternoon, seniors. This is Ms. Dixon. It's so awesome to see so many of you here today. Um, yes, I will be speaking to you briefly about transcripts and diplomas as well as graduation. So first, transcripts. Electronic copies of your final transcript will be sent to colleges and universities, and we will send electronic copies of the final transcript to all students via email. Your diploma and official transcript will be distributed in the fall. Now, hopefully we can distribute them in September, but it really just depends on when we receive clearance to return to the building. You will receive an email with an appointment form. You will need to complete that appointment form in order to schedule a time to pick up your documents. So again, this will happen as soon as possible, but the exact dates will be determined once we have uh, clearance to return to the building. Now. Now, on to the fun part, graduation. So New York, uh, the New York City Department of Education is hosting a citywide graduation ceremony. Those dates have not yet been announced. However, I'm happy to announce that we will host a virtual graduation ceremony for you and your families on Thursday, June 25th at 1 p.m. So keep an eye out for an email with the link and additional information about our virtual graduation ceremony during the week of June 22nd. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dixon. And then we'll have Ms. Perez speak about virtual graduation ceremony preparation. Ms. Perez. Hello, what's up class of 2020? How are you doing out there? I miss you and I love you guys. All right, virtual graduation ceremony prep. All 
all seniors, prepare a recent photo and a two to three line farewell message. A sample message could be, thank you to my family, friends, and Chelsea CTE for supporting me throughout this journey. Congratulations to my fellow classmates of the class of 2020. We did it. So you're gonna need to send this to legendary2020 at chelseahs.org or drop it into the Google Drive folder, also named legendary2020. The valedictorian and the salutatorian address, you have the choice of doing a voice recording of the speech or a video recording. We ask that you do the video recording in landscape format. This is an example. So if, as you can see, the, the photo on the bottom of Mr. Fowler is in landscape format. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's finish strong. Love you. Thank you, Ms. Perez. And now Ms. Rinna will talk about our fall 2020 distribution procedures. Ms. Hey Rinna? guys. Yeah, sorry. Um, a little technical difficulties on my end, but hey, um, miss and love you guys. Hope you and your families are doing well. Um, so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the senior materials. So we are still ordering um, your senior things like cap and gown, we're still ordering a yearbook, your t-shirt, putty, um, diploma case, little things like that. Um, you know, they're having a little bit of issues with the shipping right now just because it has to ship to the school, but we're not in the school. So you will be able to pick up most of your things if you don't get it before our virtual graduation, you will be able to get it in September. I'll have everything ready to go for you. You know me, I'm super OCD. It'll be packed and ready with your name on it. Um, so, Refunds, yes, I know a lot of you have been asking about refunds. A number of you did pay your senior dues in full. A number of you also did pay for prom. You will be getting full refunds for your prom payments. But it, again, I'm not in the building. I can't do anything with money until I'm back in the building with my receipt book. Um, so we'll be able to refund you in the full and a prorated refund for the senior dues. So as of right now, the school is going to cover some things for you. Um, I think the only thing that we are working on still is the yearbook. So, um, and then our plan is, I know a number of you had filled out, thank you for those of you who did. I did a little Google form, two of them. One was about just like senior stuff. And then another one was about celebrations for you guys. And the main feeling I got, and I think Angel had said it even, you know, why can't we do a socially distanced graduation in the comments just now? Well, we can't because the venues aren't open. So what we do plan on doing is on Friday, December 18th from three to five, we're gonna have a 2020 reunite. So it's kind of like your senior brunch, but more like senior dinner, you know? So hopefully you guys will be back from college by then for those of you going away and we'll be able to all get together, um, sign your yearbooks. I would love to sign your yearbooks for you, have some food and just relax, you know, get to see each other again and see how your first year of college went, first semester of college went and, you know, just be able to enjoy each other's company face to face. And that's it. Thank you, Ms. Renna. All right, uh, class of 2020, as I've stated throughout this process, you know, everyone's ability, we've been pushing finish strong, but I understand I've heard a lot of the challenges, I've heard a lot of the struggles. So I definitely understand that everyone's ability to finish strong will vary. But allow me to remind you that we want the very best for you because your future is bright. Now is the time to become the greatest versions of yourself you have and always will be our lions, our leaders, innovators, orators, newsmakers, and scholars. During these unprecedented times, you all have demonstrated these ideals in so many profound ways. Your history is unique. You hold the mantle as Chelsea CTE's 100th graduating class, and there has never been a time like this in any of our lifetimes. Your generation is shaping our future. You have taught us how to be more empathetic, be more patient, and innovate our use of technology. With less than 30 online days remaining, your future starts now. Continue checking into the daily attendance every day, complete your assignments, and attend live sessions with your teachers, Mr. Siegel, and the college and career team. 
Check your email daily and follow us on all of our social media platforms. On behalf of our Chelsea CTE family of faculty, staff, and community partners, we congratulate this legendary class of 2020. We want you to know that we are right by your side as we virtually walk together to the finish line. Congratulations, Lions. I'll now open it up for our second Q&A session. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I had to just say that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm going. That's beautiful. Yes, let's see here. That's right, Mike, what he's saying, yes, sir. So I'm, so I'm actually going to stop the recording now. Give me one moment. Have a great Let's day, everyone. Day. Enjoy your weekend. People don't have to leave us. Yeah. You too, Ms. Thomas, though. Thank you. I know that you're having a town hall with them, right?